Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another Sims Info and Thoughts video. So, the Dream Home Decorator game pack was announced today. I already uploaded my trailer reaction, so I will leave a link to that in the video description below. But, in this video we are going to be talking about the blog post, and in addition to that, I was sent some screenshots and renders through the EA Game Changers program, so we'll go over that too. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First, we'll start off with the blog post. Make dreams come true with a new The Sims 4 pack. Transform lives by transforming spaces in the Dream Home Decorator game pack. Susu, I'm Patina Wainscott, and I'm thrilled you could join me today for what I'm calling Dream Home Decorator 101. We're diving deep into the ins and outs of designing for clients because that's the main thing to remember. It's all about making your clients happy. All about clients. Take it from me, the best designs start with the sims you're creating for. I never go into a project without getting to know my clients first, at least not if I plan to be successful. Back in my early days, I made that mistake a lot. Once, I planned a whole space around the gnome statue in the middle of my client's living room. Come to find out, that sim was terrified of the gnome and wanted it gone. Everyone has preferences, you know. Likes and dislikes matter when it comes to decorating. So ask questions. Find out their favorite color and music genre and decor style. Ask about the things that inspire them, if they have any hobbies, what their favorite pieces are. Walk them through color swatches and maybe some of the work in your portfolio. Take a few before pictures for the client too. After all, the more you know about someone, the easier it is to imagine a space that will truly bring them joy. This kind of makes it sound like as if preferences and likes and dislikes are a feature, because when I saw this in the trailer, I just assumed it was something that was only seen when you are in the new career and you are working with a client, but this sounds like it could apply to the whole game, though if it ends up being just in this pack or in the free updates before the pack remains to be seen, but I'm feeling like it might still be like Lifestyles and Snowy Escape, where it is only in the new pack. So remember to keep it professional, though. Shower before you arrive, trust me. <laughs> Every interaction impacts your reputation, and if you want to move up to bigger gigs, that matters. Okay, so it's interesting that even the motives seem to have an impact on your job performance. All about renovations. Once you've gotten a feel for what your client wants, nudge them out the door and turn your attention to the space around you. Sometimes clients want to redo the nursery, or add an in-law unit. I even had a sim ask for a gym in the basement once. Whatever the task, I'm sure you're up for it. Simply follow the budget, the client's preferences, the available tile count, and the client's actual ask. Sidebar, okay yes, sometimes the requests get a little weird. It's your job to do what you can though. I could share some wild stories, but client designer Confidentiality is a professional courtesy. Start with an empty space by selling off the items you can't use. It's a good budget tip too. Then it's all up to you to make your client's dreams come true. I personally love this phase of a project. Maybe sims tend to be a little messy, so why not play around with modular shelving units for innovative storage solutions? Open concept is very in right now, and sectional sofas divide living spaces from the kitchen perfectly while keeping a roomy, airy atmosphere. And speaking of the kitchen, built-in appliances like ovens and stovetops save space too. For kids' rooms, bunk beds are my go-to. As children grow, it's easy to change the configuration and add a desk for homework. My point is, don't be afraid to play around. Sometimes, the unexpected works best, and sometimes, you'll have a tried and true solution in mind. All about reveals. Once you finish the work, 
there's just one thing left, the reveal. Once you've perfected the space, invite the client back to see the results. Personally, this is the moment I live for. That first reaction means the world to me. Whether sims cry, throw their arms around me, or immediately start daydreaming, I always know when I've done a good job, and it's amazingly fun to show off the before and after photos. So many factors go into whether or not a gig is successful. Did you stay within the budget? Build around your client's preferences? Complete your objective? Were you respectful and fun? Hopefully, the answer to all of these questions is yes, <laughs> or yes, as Captain Falcon would say, but not only does it make your client happy and make you feel good, but it improves your reputation as a decorator. After all, people love to talk about things they love, so make them love their space. A few extra tips. Speaking of reputation, the more you get your name out there, the more gigs open up to you. Start with something small, like a room remodel. By the time you've reached my level, you'll be redesigning the neighborhood bar. <laughs> so I'm pretty surprised to see this. I know there was a bar shown off in the trailer, but I assume that was just a super fancy home bar because, I mean, home is in the name, so. <laughs> uh, client referrals make a real difference. But I used to blog and promote myself on social media too. Now you can watch me on the Home Decorator channel. Okay, so I briefly spotted some different video playing on the TV, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. But it's good to know that, yes, for sure, that does mean that we are getting a new TV channel. I do love getting those because I feel like just watching the same old stuff on the TV gets repetitive pretty quickly. Every sim is different. I know, I know, I've said that a few times now, but I really mean it. In households with more than one occupant, sometimes it gets tough to balance what they want. Maybe two sims have different color preferences. If you can't make both work together, find some common ground to focus on instead. Huh, I don't know if the Sims 3 Ambitions version of this actually accounted for that. I think it was always just about one client, but I might be wrong. It's been a year or two since I've played with that. But, uh, and never assume you know what a client will ask for. I had an adult client ask for a kid's tent once. Turns out, it was for their nephew. And last but not least, the most important advice I have. Just have fun with it. Remember why you chose this path. You're a dream homemaker after all. Thank you for coming to my TED, I mean, Sims talk. I'll catch you on the home decorating channel soon. And don't forget to follow the Sims Instagram. I have a new series called Spaces with Patina that I'm super excited to share. Sims 4 Dream Home Decorator Game Pack arrives on June 1st, 2021 at 10 a.m. Pacific time in your region on Origin for PC and Mac, Steam, Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Also, I nearly missed this part of the blog post, but it's quite interesting because they say, we have a lot planned in the next few weeks as the Summer of Sims kicks into high gear. The launch of Dream Home Decorator is just one bright spot to look forward to. So make sure you've got your sunglasses We've absolutely packed the next few weeks. And with that packed pun in mind, I think then we should expect the expansion pack to be announced sometime in June. I figure the chances of that were already pretty good, like mid, late June. But yeah, this seems like a confirmation without it being 100% a confirmation. It is interesting seeing them hype up this Summer of Sims thing so much because Typically in gaming, summer is easily one of the slowest times of the whole year because the developers are working on getting their games out in time for the holiday season where they're guaranteed to make more money. Next, let's take a look at the stuff that I was sent over. So here is the cover for Dream Home Decorator. I would say just overall, it's pretty nice. The one thing I want to point out though are those two llamas facing each other on the coffee table. That's so adorable. I would love to use that in my game. Next, we have this render featuring several objects from the game pack. The bunk bed sticks out to me because I think I said there were two new bunk beds at least in this game pack, but there might be four and this is one of the ones that I did not initially spot. So there's that, there's 
a tent, <laughs> and uh, I've already seen people speculating that this one is hinting at farming because that swatch has a farm on it. Well, <laughs> I don't really want to get my hopes up through something like that, but yeah, I think it's just because like it's an animal theme for kids, that just is a thing that's there. Then we have these little storage bins, and that reminds me so much of my elementary school days. That is really nice. <laughs> Then we got what I think is a stovetop. I don't know, my expectations are so low. I thought it was just a counter object that has a stove in it. <laughs> but no, I think those two are separated. There's also what looks to be a microwave oven. I thought it was just a regular microwave. Maybe it is still, but yeah, I'm gonna need confirmation as to if there is any new gameplay functionality with it. On top of a new counter there, of course. And there's a new statue, painting, and a wall decoration of plants, a bookshelf, an end table, a sectional couch, so I'm pretty excited about that. I think that is one that is going to be exclusive to that game pack, and then we'll potentially get one or two in the next base game update. And then there's another shelving unit. So far, it looks like what's justifying the size of a game pack, rather than this just being another stuff pack in a similar vein to Paranormal, is the object count. It looks like there's going to be a lot. I mean, just the fact that we seem to be getting three or four new bunk beds is just like, whoa. <laughs> that I would not expect, for sure. Moving on to the screenshots, we have Patina with a client just showing some color swatches, some new objects in the background, pretty self-explanatory. In the next screenshot, I believe almost every object is new, except for maybe the bunk bed, though I don't recognize the bed sheets. But yeah, the laptop I'm pretty sure is just the base game one, and I think one of the objects on the shelf is base game that looks like a chest. I also gotta say, I love the outfit on the sim in the middle. That's definitely a look, but... The hairstyle, it looks almost identical from what I can tell to one from Tiny Living Stuff. It's just that this one has a sideburn, but then the one in Tiny Living does not. That does make me concerned, though I have not seen the whole hairstyle yet. So for all I know, maybe in the back, the style looks a lot different. Lastly, we have a screenshot that's actually edited with a before and after. So, base game on the left, new pack furniture on the right, looks pretty nice, loving that sectional couch too. And the uh, glass with the island there looks really cool overall, so looking forward to seeing some of this stuff being used in gallery builds. Before I end up this video, there are a couple of tweets that I want to go over from the Sim Grooves. So, Singru House tweeted this, <laughs> SOFA, where we have these sectional seats shaped in the word of sofa. <laughs> I think that's pretty funny, but at the same time, does show the flexibility that we have with sectional seating. In addition, Singru Frost tweeted an eyes emoji with a screenshot of the blog post where it said every sim is different and notes color preferences, so... I guess this is a hint that color preferences are going to be an actual feature rather than just being attached to the new career. Oh, I was just about done, but then SimGru Mr. E added on this. Can confirm, counter stovetops can be placed on any counter. So that is good, a lot more flexibility there. Though I can't help but think how much cooler it would have also been if this were in tiny living stuff. So overall, I'm not completely sold on this game pack yet. I did want the interior designer career to return eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to be like this. I just don't feel like at the moment that there's enough value in the overall package to justify this being a game pack. Sure, it looks like there's gonna be a ton of new objects, but in terms of ones that add new gameplay functionality, seems like there's going to be barely any of that. And yeah, there's the career, but Paranormal Stuff had one. They really spoiled us with that stuff hack, and that was awesome. But now, that seems to be working against the value of Dream Home Decorator. I'm also not much of a builder, so I will acknowledge that this particular pack is not aimed towards simmers like me. But, it's worth noting that literally two days ago, they released a kit that is specifically tailored towards builders, and now they're releasing a game pack, also tailored to builders. 
it's like they're really not even trying to get rid of the popular opinion that The Sims 4 is mainly a building simulator. It just feels like, as of lately, uh, creative sim players, as well as people who mainly just play in live modes, not really a whole lot going on. I hope the expansion pack can turn that around. And that wraps up another Sims <laughs> Info and Thoughts video. So feel free to let me know your thoughts on this game pack so far in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest gaming content, including life simulations and more. So I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching.